All right, everyone, Sean here. Usually I'm the one doing the interviews, but I'm going to let the uh, beautiful, talented Ellie Love take over this interview with the awesome Cuckoo Kangaroo. Oh, that guy. Ellie Love. Hey, everybody. I'm Ellie Love here, and we are with Cuckoo Kangaroo. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> How you guys doing? Welcome For the back. first interview oh. ever. Oh, oh, my gosh. Ellie Love's going to do a great job right now. Are you yeah. nervous about this, Neil? I'm nervous because Ellie Love is going to just... She's going to grill us. She's going to ask us the difficult questions. Yep. Talking about all life's hard choices. Okay. Okay. Right, let's let's I'm, do this. I'm nervous, but I'm ready. Uh, Dig what's in. What's the inspiration behind Cuckoo Kangaroo? Wow. Right off the bat. Coming strong. Yep. Um, well, we used to be um, in another band, and it's just like standard, like traditional, kind of like a hootie and a blowfish, like style, like folk rock band. We kind of, we just, we like to dance. And we like to like have sing-alongs, and we would see other bands, and we're like, oh, this is kind of boring, and we want to do some different. So we did. Right on. And we don't like carrying around drum sets. Nice. So. Where did you guys come up with the name Cuckoo Kangaroo? Oh, I don't know. You got this one. No, I uh, I didn't come up with the name. Brian did. Oh, so and, I should take uh, it. Yeah, I think you should take it. Yeah. Simple. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So should I talk to you? Should we like talk? Should we get like the side profile? Talk to your viewers? Yeah, yeah. Like, Halfway? Talk, talk to the world. Okay, like Cuckoo Kangaroo. So there's like two versions. Like one, I was reading like a psychology magazine, and they were like, you need to have like hard consonants at the beginning of your name. And we are going to call it a bunch of like weird, like super like space agey names. And we were like watching Sesame Street, this like DVD, like Sesame Street Jungle. And like when it gets to the K, it's like Cuckoo Kangaroo. And then I don't know, we just like, we had like a vote when we voted on so please, uh, Mr. Jim Henson in your estate, please, please don't hurt us. <laughs> it was all really, it's all about fun. You know, we're not trying to steal your thunder, but please. We don't say any swear words. Yeah. But yeah, Sesame Street was kind of the origin. Loosely. Yeah. Just grill us. And is all your music geared towards the younger generation? Or? We would say, I'm going to say straight up, like, our music is just, like, for everybody. Yeah, for everybody. Like, any age up to any age it just is like we just keep it clean so everybody can listen to it and we don't you know the shows that we're doing if it were just for kids we probably would be doing clubs like this and doing you know really tours but we want to play for Party as the many people as possible so we get in clubs and do as many all ages shows as possible and, you know with that you know it's fun. we want to play places where kids can come but also um, kids grandparents can come and enjoy themselves the same and um, why is your music free? Do you guys plan on charging for it anytime soon? Uh, we just talked about this. Yeah. Um, our music is free because we just we think that everybody should have it, and we want to spread it like way faster. And we want, I mean, we just know that like it's tough for people to like buy everybody's CD, and we don't really like to sell them all the time, so... Yeah, and you know, we, uh, we always want to have the option of being able to download a record for free. Uh, we have a record coming out um, here on Tuesday, which I believe is the 11th, and January 11th, January 11th 1, 11, 11, and we're going to put that up on a new Bandcamp page, which is a website that allows you to choose how much you want to pay. You can pay zero dollars, you can pay whatever you want. I mean, we think that's kind of the best way to go because although we, you know, you can have it for free if you want, it'd be nice if we toss a couple of dollars our way. Um, but generally, you know, we'd rather have you know all the songs um, and get the songs for free rather than come to our show and not know what's going on. So it's about that too. There's a lot of sing-alongs involved in live shows, so it's better if you know the words. And can you sidebar? Okay. Bar. So like <laughs> our our music isn't really like the most like you wouldn't like be like oh this is gonna be like a huge thing on the radio because like right. has like huge like synth lines that are like this is where a dance move goes right. and so we like to give it away for free because it's like we'd rather have you listen to it and then come to the live show and have a dance party with us than like be disappointed because you bought this thing and you don't understand what it is. Yeah, you know, all the songs are created with the show in mind, so. You know, when we create a song, it's about how can we make this an awesome live experience. So that's another reason why we just want you to come to the show and, you know, know as much as possible. What do you think? Are you glad that it's free? Okay, good. Yeah? Because then, you know, instead of buying the record, you can just, you know, maybe pay, you know, $8 to get into our show or buy a shirt or something like that. You know what I mean? You can... Or a coloring book. Or a coloring book. We have coloring books now. So there's other ways for us to monetize this. We kind of just rather have everyone have access to our music for whatever price they want. And uh, has anything embarrassing ever happened to you guys while you're 
on stage or during the tour? Man, I'm trying to think. There's a good story. <laughs> I think we're telling the same one. We were in Wisconsin playing a show. And sometimes we run our um, our music off an iPod, and other days we run it off a, a laptop computer. And we were and we're playing on the floor. We usually like to play on the floor sometimes. And we put oh. Brian's computer on the subwoofer, which is enormous. And the bass from the, our songs bounced the computer off the subwoofer and onto the ground. And our show, you know, suffice to say, it came halting. Came screeching to a halt. The computer got messed up. Uh, yeah, just never the bass. thought in a million years. But it this sounded is the great. Second. Boom, boom. Was, the bass was so crazy that it ended our set. We just had to plug it in. But we learned like whenever we have awkward sounds, is like the same like camp songs. Yeah. And we have like a lot of them over our yeah. sleeve because uh, we've had technical difficulties always. Like yeah. we have the easiest setup ever: two microphones and an iPod. Yeah. <laughs> and something always gets messed up, so we're just like we have like goofy camp songs. Whenever when something goes wrong, camp song is like the best. Sing along camp song. Yeah, like, I guess that's not that embarrassing. No, we like we pretended like it was the end. It was, of the part, song. It was part of the show. Like, yeah, that's the end. You know, I almost so. fell one time on this last Aquaman too. Oh was, yeah, I almost died. You fe- you fell off this box. You were just on these these boxes with lights in them. Brian slipped. Are we talking too much? No. Are you sure? No. Okay. You can add stuff. Yeah. Wait, you okay. need to get you need to get video of like the three Look shiny the kicks. Look at these shoes. <laughs> That's spiffy. That's oh. Oh. Can you say bling bling? Oh. Oh. Um, there you go. One last question. Yeah. Okay. Then your new album coming out on the 11th, which okay. we are so excited about. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is there anything else that your fans can expect in the near future? Well, there's uh, a whole bunch of things. We have uh, we have ideas all the time for upcoming cuckoo things. Okay. It's just a matter of when you will see them. Should we talk about like the song I, the new albums that are coming out? Yes. Let's talk about. Okay. So new so we got a new album coming out on Tuesday. Yep. Hopefully another album coming out in March yep. and then hopefully after that in we're hoping Summer. in the summertime we're putting out a 30 song animal opera 30 songs 30 minutes 30 animals yeah. and one song one, 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 song, one minute each song. each song exactly every song's a different animal it's going to be called Critters <laughs> that, and, and then we're hopefully going to be able to bring our light up bunk beds on tour yeah Oh, cool. She's got to come and do a party. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, but for the future, we're just going to stay on the road, tour as much as possible, and, you know, hopefully cover the whole nation and just go everywhere and keep making songs. We want to do a, a TV show, too, like an online web show. Um, so send in ideas if you have any anything you want us to, you know. And lunch boxes. Lunch, you got to get some lunch boxes with the, with the thermos. I bite my nails on it. But, yeah, we're, doing, we're just going to continue to keep doing, you know, videos and, you know, whatever we think is fun. We're just going to do it and make it part of computer. And we're going to work out and eat better so that we can dance for longer than, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> I feel like a gym membership is in is in the future for us. You can say that. Over the rainbow. We eat poorly. Yeah. But, yeah, that's that. Well, I thank you guys for a lot That's of it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that was good. Can I, I show like that. Can I can I show off my cool tattoo? It's just a dot. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Someday it'll be I get, something. I get too nervous, so I don't want your viewers to be like, I got a wuss. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? You are. He, I am. Yeah, that's okay. I'm very <laughs> sweet. Autograph. Oh, you, you want an autograph? autograph? Well, I promise we didn't set this up. This you, is not This is not a ploy. Yes. Do you, do you have a pen? I don't have, I don't have a pen. Do you have a pen? Oh, I get it. There's a pen. There's a pen right over here. Oh, oh my gosh. Can we sign? We're, can we sign this for you? We're, we're, what do you want us to sign? That? This? Okay. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Can I go first? Oh, please. Okay. Oh please. my gosh. Is this like your? Di- is this your diary? Oh, this isn't. Oh my gosh. Okay. If you guys want to put a uh, contact email, any video photos that we take, we'll send it to your video. Okay, Neil, are you going to draw a picture? Yeah. You don't want Neil, do you? Oh my gosh. You better sign something great. This is your first concert ever? Tonight. Are you, are you excited? Are you pumped? You got some earplugs? Well, you're ready to dance, right? Oh, sold. Everything? Oh my gosh, perfect. That's great. Mom, how come you don't jump up and down like that when you're hanging out with us? It's exciting. Okay. Guys, where's the picture? Where's the picture? She has one for you guys. Really? What? Yeah. No way. What? 
you drew us a picture? Let me see. Oh, oh my gosh, it's a dragon. Oh, a dragaroo. Drag-o-roo. Hey, what's the sticker at? Check that out. Oh, oh my gosh. Claws. This is careful. Okay, can we, teach, can we teach you a handshake? For high, okay, so like not a high five, but we need to do a hand hug. Okay, so watch this. So straight up in the air, like this, and then an arm wrap a finger around. Done. Or we can do the thumb. Or we can do boomerang like this. Watch this. So you'll let me bring it back in. Okay, you wanna try? Okay, you gotta do this too. Ready? Shoot the bam! Okay, done. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for doing this, you guys. No problem. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, cuckoo kangaroo. All songs for you at cuckoo kangaroo.com. Wow. Okay.